<laughs> okay, so today I'm going to show you how an investigation actually works in science. Okay, I know we've talked about it all year, but I didn't really do a demonstration video yet, so I want to do that for you. All right, so let's get started. Okay, I just want to point out that, first of all, um, whenever you do, you want to test out anything in life, it doesn't have to just be in science, okay? But there are basic steps you should always follow. First, you want to ask a testable question, okay? So what we're going to test today is we want to know if this, like uh, drink powder mix, when poured into this filter with water over this glass, will um will it make kool-aid or not okay so that's our question now we need to make a hypothesis well i've done that for you already here's what i think okay now in my hypothesis can i be right or wrong absolutely i can be both okay i don't have to be right that's why you're going to test it and do all the other fun stuff here's my hypothesis i think that the powder drink mix will stay in the filter and the water will run through the filter and the result will be flavored water. Limonada to be exact. That's the name of it, limonada. <laughs> okay, so I just made my hypothesis. Now we're gonna plan our investigation. Okay, well we're gonna use this jar to catch the water. This, uh, I have to come back some. Maybe I can go do it like this. How's that? That might work better. All right. Yay. Okay. So we're going to pour it in there. We're going to pour the, uh, and then the, our water. Okay. So now we have just got all of our materials we need. Next, it says to collect and record your data. Well, let's start collecting it. All right. So we're going to take a scoop of this powder and put it in there okay and then I'm going to pour this water very carefully so it doesn't make a big mess hopefully whoa 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 whoa, whoa. <sighs> yeah here how about this here that'll work maybe <laughs> okay I'm going to keep pouring some more water Oh, that did not work. Okay. Fail. Okay, so after a fail, I had to come back and redo this. I put my filter on it. I put a rubber band around it to hold it in place. And my powder is at the top. Now, let's see how it turns out. Well, I definitely said I thought that the liquid would filter through and the um maybe i put too much powder in there i think i put too much powder all right take two try again i still got a little powder in there i took some of the powder out so it can filter through a little better all right do you see it filtering So now I'm going to take this off. Take this off and test it. Fruity, yummy. It worked. Okay, but it worked this time. So I need to try it again, right? We want to test it how many times? Three. And we want to test, keep testing our uh, experiment three times at, at least so we know we get the same results each time. We know that maybe something wasn't mixed up. Okay, so let's do it again. Put my cup. All right. I'll get my filter. Put my paper in there a little bit. Wrap it around powder. I'm 
I'll use just a little bit of powder this time, not as much as last. I can get them. Oh, by the way, these uh, this experiment is thanks to Miss L's homeroom. Um, Rico brought the supplies in, so we can thank Rico. Love you, Rico. Big shout out to her. All right, we're pouring it again. It's coming through. Let's pour a little more so I can get another little taste. Real quick, I want to show you while that's doing its job and filtering. I want to show you where we are. So we're um, oh, you can't see it. we're collect and record our data. So if I had a table, okay. So I made um, a little test on here, like a little chart, okay? Because in here it says collect and record data, which is what we're doing, and then you want to organize it. You usually want to organize it in some kind of chart, okay? But I'm keeping this really basic and simple. All right, so test one, lime powder and water. What what happened? What were our results? What can I write down? You can say the water filtered and this is not like lemon, is it? And lime juice was tasty, <laughs> okay? Tasty. In other words, we can say it worked, right? So water filtered and lime juice was tasty. In other words, it worked. All right, second time we did it. Here's, let's take this off. Try it again. Mm. Mm. All right, it worked the second time. I'll put, worked again. Now, just because it worked twice, doesn't mean it's going to work the third time. Although I think it's safe to say it will. But as scientists, you always want to uh, test things over and over and over. Just, especially if you're doing like really more complicated investigations. Um, think about it. If you get a new recipe, your mom gets a new recipe, right? And she's like, hey, I got a new recipe. I want to make it for dinner. And you're like, okay. And everyone's always leery of a new recipe, right? Because you know what you like to eat as a family. And you got this new recipe coming in. Anyway, so your mom tries out the new recipe first time. First time she makes it. It's kind of gross, right? Everybody in the house is like, Ugh. mom, don't make that again. But she's determined because she saw it on the Food Network, <laughs> right? And Or some celebrity chef was cooking it. And they just swear by it. So she thinks to herself, hey, you know what? Maybe I just didn't make it right. So I'll make it again. She makes it a second time. Mm -mm, still ain't, still ain't very good, right? So then the third time she makes it, you're all like dreading it. You don't even want to go. You don't even want to go. Hands down, do not want to go to the uh, dinner table. You just, ugh, ugh. but you get there, and oh my gosh, it's amazing. Like I don't know, mom just did something wrong the first two times. So same thing, same thing as a scientific method. You want to test something three times or more. That way you know you get the same results. Okay, so now that could also be called perfection, but anywho, all right, let's finish up our last trial. Got my powder in there, got my filter, and pouring my water, and while that's filtering through, I've got my chart, my, uh, and then down here we're going to put our results. Results is that the last thing you do, okay? You wanna explain your results. So, let's take this off. Taste it. <sighs> Tasty, thank you, Rico. All right, so let's go back. My hypothesis was that I think the powder drink mix will stay in the filter, and it did. And the water will run through the filter, and it did. And the result will be flavored water. Limonada. Well, it worked. So my results can say, look, we're going to be all sciencey. My hypothesis 
fancy word, was supported by the experiment and the results. Are you ready for this? You ready? Are valid after three successful tries. Trials. Trials. Eh. And there. I just did an experiment. And I used the scientific method. Too easy, right? Oh my gosh. When I was a kid in school, never had I ever, ever, ever had this stuff so easily explained. Bye.